Welcome back guys, it is the day following once again. Day following, day following, day following. I've, I've, I've been ripping through this, I, this is really unusual for me, isn't it? Yeah, welcome back for more separate ways with Miss Ada Wong. Now this may be the last session of this, I don't know how much chapter 4 and 5 are going to provide us with in terms of gameplay, how long it's going to take to actually finish them, how much I'm going to be able to do, blah blah blah. But before we get on to that, I have read through all your comments now in the entire playthrough. Yeah, there's a few things I want to address, but a lot of this is actually just going to be me actually going back and reloading some parts of the game, because I missed a lot in the fifth chapter. I missed a lot. So before we do that, something I can't reload, but luckily I've been able to acquire footage from, from Wind, is what happens if you make use of the crane and the garbage disposal area. Garbage disposal, what a way to go! Next up, a little bit of information here from the end stating that the vest that you can buy, the tactical vest from the merchants, it doesn't take up inventory space, you actually wear it directly on yourself. Um, obviously my confusion in regards to that lies in the fact that in Resident Evil 5 it does take up inventory space. Mr. Albert Wesker, 1969, here tells us that the Matilda is a modified handgun that Leon uses in Resident Evil 2 after finding the parts to upgrade it. Maybe someday I'll get to give that a swing. I don't know. I don't know how down for repeating this game I am, obviously. Mark Merritt tells us that both Regenerators and Killer 7 Magnum is actually a reference to Killer 7. I never really thought about that, admittedly, in regards to the Regenerator. Obviously, I caught on to the Killer 7 reference there, though, in regards to the title of the game. And then finally, I've got a whole bunch of other comments basically stating that um, shooting the regenerators in the legs is a good idea, so if ever I encounter one in mercenaries mode or in this mode or whatever mode, of course I will give that a go. Right, it's time to get reloading, I guess. Oh, that's fantastic. The first one I have to reload is actually 102, so... Um, yeah, of course I've saved a lot of these, luckily. A few of you guys mentioned that from this area I actually missed inspecting this door here somehow. Um, I don't understand how. I think it's just because it blended in pretty well with, um, you know, the surroundings. But yeah, there's just a red herb in here, nothing more. Delicious. Next up, let's see if I can do this. So, I've got to get this out, and then... Hmm, don't think that was right there. No. Holy shit. That is hilarious. Oh god, that's so easy to do as well. That is so easy to do. Yeah, apparently if you equip the striker, aim it, but before the laser comes up, this is from um, Basic Gaming and Sinclair Strange, by the way. Um, and then you switch to another weapon, it increases Leon's animation speed for the running, so he runs even faster than normal. Uh, apparently it's something that speedrunners make use of in their playthroughs and whatnot, but uh, yeah, it is glitch, so... Some speedrunners, of course, do glitchless playthroughs and whatnot. Now, this comment comes from the Welcome. end, once again. And apparently, if I do really badly at the shooting gallery range, something funny happens. So, uh, let's proceed to do that. Right, so... Um... Was something supposed to happen there? I can have a chat with him, but... No? Um, what was supposed to happen there? Oh, he's actually invincible, this one. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what I'm missing here, but yeah. I got a bad score and nothing seems to have occurred. 106 around this area. Apparently I missed a... Oh god, this is the regenerator area. Why have you put me back here, guys? Apparently I missed an item around here. <sighs> Fuck me if I know where, though. Uh... Over here? Oh, what on earth is that? <gasps> w 
what 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 on earth is going on? I don't know what I just shot there. I have no idea what the fuck I just shot. It could have been a person. Check. What the hell is this thing? Well, why don't you open it up and find out, Leon? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a bit on the small side. It could have been fucking Salazar or something. But mind you, I think he's uh, he's a bit dead at this. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Um, never mind. Let's <laughs> let's go for the. Let's go to the next thing, shall we? Just around this area, I missed a document. Uh, I don't know where exactly it is, unfortunately. But, um, you know, I'll do a bit of backtracking and see if I can... I think you guys were saying it was before this area, so I'm gonna guess it's back through this door or something. Um, where exactly, though? Oh, there! Bloody hell, I don't know I didn't see that, but it is kind of hiding behind jerry cans here, isn't it? Right, so our mission. I'm really glad I've missed barely any documents all the way through this. The real power of the United States lies in three areas. The Justice Department, the administrative bodies, and the military. In order to take control of these areas, we must influence the minds of the people who advise the president. After this is done, the rest of the departments will f quickly fall under our sway. If by chance the United States were to figure out our plan, the damage caused should be minimal. We will still be able to conquer the country as planned using our backup plan. Once we control the country, we will use their international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will fall swiftly. As already stated, if our first plan doesn't go as smoothly as expected, we'll proceed with the secondary plan. By sending in our special forces, we will infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread through the nation like a virus. It'll only be a matter of time before the country loses its stability. At that time, when they're most vulnerable, we will strike. Rejoice, my brethren. The world shall soon be cleansed. So oh dear me. So, plans for world domination. That is a... Uh, thank you for pointing that out, guys. That was quite an amusing document there. Okay, so I believe that's everything. Thank you so much for helping me out with those. Thank you for pointing out all these things that I missed. Thank you for showing me that glitch as well. Thank you for watching. Right, let's reload with um, chapter 4 of Miss Ada Wong's... Uh, Separate ways, shall we? Kind of welcome to save over any slot now, I guess. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. This isn't really going to add anything extra to what we already know, unfortunately, because um, for some reason it decided to display this cutscene to us when we were Leon. Quite a jolly mess he's made, that Leon, but all for the better. Sadler's people have fallen into a panic. Their destruction is only a matter of time now. Once he gets Ashley back, his job will be finished. He'll no longer be a factor. No, I'm leaving Leon to Krauser. Hurry up and retrieve the sample. Oh. Maybe you forgot, Wesker. I don't always play by your rules. She's gonna be rattled. She is gonna be rattled. Stop Leon's assassination. So, um... Oh, God, does that mean we've got to deal with more Krauser business than... Oh, no. Okay. Lovely. So, uh, oh, what? Are we on the, um... We're on the route that the... The bulldozer takes, aren't we? I think. Y yes, yes, we are. How... Uh, well, that's an interesting place to start, that's for sure. Welcome. Please have another Atachi case for me. Good on I'm in dire need of it. Okay, well, that's a, uh, a bit of help, but you know what? Could really go for the Atachi case, could really go for the Atachi case, because I'm 
making nice collection of uh, money here, but not much else at the moment. I need to reduce the volume on this, it's a bit loud. Right. So, I want to go straight forward, but I want to take a turn to the... Okay. Any enemies behind me? No, it doesn't look like it. Merchant friend, come on, help me. Um, well, let's, uh, let's take a few out of these out of range, shall we? What? Jesus. Um... Can the TMP shoot through the shield? It can, yes. Just about. Oh shit, okay, I can't actually, um... Oh god. Uh, stay away. Don't like these things. Um, yeah, you can't actually suplex these guys, or whatever it is Ada does. Um, she doesn't suplex at all. She, uh... She just does a fan kick, doesn't she? Can I get close to you without actually... I'm, I'm, I'm worried I'm going to accidentally shooting the merchant if I'm not careful. Come on. There we go. I was kind of worried for a moment he might actually kill the merchant as well, but no. I don't think that's a possibility at all. Right, let's reload these. Whoops, wrong button. And that, please. Thank you. How many bullets do we have left in the rifle? Um, we haven't got too many, have we? But we, we've got enough, that's for sure. TMP needs reloading as well. That should allow us to make a new stack, actually. What do you bet we're gonna come across some regenerators in this part? I mean, we're kind of in that area, aren't we? Oh, fuck. I think I could have, um, made use of the explosives that are just over there. Hang on, no, I still can. If I'm careful and, uh... There we go, lovely. Right, let's deal with this guy quickly and get ourselves down there. Nice. Right. And grab a few of these pickups here. Got some money. And, um... Some bullets. And a few more bullets over here as well. Let's head back. And see what's on the right-hand side. Hmm. I mean, we, we... This is the first time we've really been in this area, isn't it? Because, um... We never really got to... Oh, really? Well, thank you, Black Tech. Okay, no, maybe not. Um, yeah, we never really got to experience this area because of being on the bulldozer. Lovely. Right, let's uh, get the pistol back out and reload that as well. Thank you. Now, what do we have here? We have some shotgun shells. We have an ability to hook shot. Where's that going to take us? Well, let's find out, I guess. Up there. Ah, right, and there's a few more um, items up here by the looks of it. Some handgun bullets, and, um, anything else? Uh, no. Though, hang on a sec, I think we can hop over there, can't we? Or can we? I mean... Like, it's not allowing me to jump over or anything, so maybe I've got to go the other side and hook shot again? I'm gonna guess that's the case. If I just kind of, um, stand closer here. Now, I'm pretty sure, Ada, uh, the way that you just shot that, for a start, that wasn't actually directed at the place she actually, um, hit it, if you get what I mean. She, she aimed the gun really high up there. Uh, but otherwise, I'm pretty sure she could have just climbed up there. Now, there's an item directly in front of me which I've somehow missed. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the cat. Oh, can I not get over there? Kinda need to. How do I get to the other side of this? Oh, I've gotta take a route round. Ah, okay, I see. If I head through here... And then if I run to the right, yeah, to the right, and then go all the way round, I think that's where it, I have to go in order to... No, 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 careful. Right, I'm gonna TMP this. Um, do I want to TMP this? Yeah, I've got a lot of TMP ammo. I definitely do. So it would be wise. There we go. I think that's the proper way to use this gun, really. Oh shit, lots of enemies coming. Just keep them at bay. Have some. Is he down? No, he isn't. There we go. Now he is. Anyone left? No one's left. Lovely. Uh, you're still making a lot of noise, though. Could you please stop that? More shotgun shells. Um, a bit of the old herb up here. Lovely. How did that break? I didn't break that, did I? 
I'm gonna guess I did while I was firing off like a maniac. Right, more TMP ammo. And, um, a flash grenade in here. Oh, fuck. I knew this would happen. That's okay. We can combine two of our green herbs together, can't we? Because we do have quite a lot at the moment. Um, it would be wise to maybe use one of the grenades, like on the next set of enemies that we see. Because, um, yeah. At the moment, that's what's taking up the most space, really, is the grenades. Uh, do we have an extra two slots somewhere? No, we don't. No, no, we don't. Um, at the moment, uh, there's just one slot left, so we could fit an egg in there. <laughs> we could fit an egg in there. Right, uh, yes, I want to go down this way. Right, okay, here's my opportunity to make use of a grenade. Do I want to... Yeah, I think I'll use an incendiary. Do you want to... kind of come here, but not... You know what? Maybe I could hit him through the door. Is that possible? Oh, I thought I had for a moment. No, no, I have. He's lying down on the floor at the moment. But, um... It didn't kill him. It just kind of did a bit of damage by the looks of it. Let's get the shotgun out and... Deal with that before it transforms properly. Now, this would have been the ideal place to um, make use of the incendiary grenade. I'll tell you what, I could still do it, because they are in a pile at the moment. There we go. Right, get the shotgun back out. We have a friend trying to shoot us from somewhere. I'm not entirely sure whereabouts, though. All I can tell you is he's somewhere here. Alright. Stay down, please. Thank you. And you. Oh, God, of course, he's got a helmet on. There we go. Right. So where's our friend with the, um, oh, he's all the way up there, right, no problem. I can deal with him with the, um, rifle. Why does it sound like there's a, no, okay, never mind. Sorry, it sounded like there was one of the poppy head guys around here somewhere, but no, that's not the case. I think it's the fire burning that I'm hearing. I mean, it certainly sounds like it getting closer to it. Uh, do I need to do anything here? I can actually exit through this door just up this way. So, what was the deal about the area just back there? Could I do anything with it? One thing I need to do is, um, sometime soon anyway, is save Leon from Sadler, don't I? Oh, did I just... okay. I clearly had to do something else there. Um, where's the prompt? There it is. Sorry, I thought I'd gone all the way over. That's clearly not the case. I need to climb in here and go around this way. Oh god! Um, that's gonna... that's definitely gonna hit me! Wow. They do a lot of damage. They do do a lot of damage, like bloody hell. Uh, I'm gonna make use of my double green herb, I think. Dickhead. Where's he gone? Oh, I'm going down after him. Oh shit. Has he got a friend? Yes, he has. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Right, turn around quickly. Oh god. Is he... is he dead? Oh, Jesus, please don't try and hit me in this state. No, you can't. Okay, that's good. That, that's good news. That's great news. Right. We have a yellow herb. Um, it might be wise to combine this in with our green herb just over here on the left and, uh, make use of that. Just so I clear up even more inventory space. Uh, I think we're good for inventory space now, at least. Do I just want to head through here? I do, don't I? And there we go, we've got a cat. Now, there's a few items I need in order to complete this. I don't think I have them at the moment. So I know I have one of the cat's eyes, but that's it. Uh, where am I supposed to go here in order to get back? That is a very good question, because um, I kind of need to head up there, don't I? But the game doesn't seem to want to let me. Can I maybe head over here or something? Oh, what's this? Oh, shit, I nearly missed some, um... Wait, what? Climb up. Oh. I nearly missed some bogum bolts here, but, um... It seems I had to come this way anyway, so it's fine. Right, so just jump down. Could have been something on the right there. I didn't bother looking, did I? Oh, well, we'll be alright. So, um... Yeah, there's just the rest of this area to... Fucking hell, the soundtrack. It confused the shit out of me then. For, uh, for a moment, I thought it was under attack or something. Right. 
Go on, get up there then. Lovely. And, uh, yeah, we can head through here, but like I said, aren't we supposed to go over there? Or can't we get through that door? I'm gonna assume that we can't. I'm gonna assume that we can't and that we have to go this way anyway, so that I'm not wasting any time. Uh, soon it's gonna be the point where I actually encounter, um, Krauser, isn't it? But I don't think they have any kind of confrontation, from what I recall. At least I don't believe they do. What the fuck? Why is there a gigantic gun over here? Do I need to make use of that? I mean, it looks like it can be manned. Yes, it can be manned by the looks of it. Uh, it's a gun battery. It requires an activation key blue to work. Specifically blue, guys. It needs to be blue. If it's not blue, it's not going to work, guys. Definitely not going to work. Right, a whole large area here. Now, this is, once again, somewhere we never experienced in our playthrough with Leon. I kind of wondered why, um... Where's that? Oh, wow, that is a lot of enemies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, 